All right, guys, we're gonna go visit my friend. I'm here in Las Vegas again, uh, you know, uh, temporarily for about uh, another week or so. And I have an opportunity to go visit my friend. And do you remember the video about the W116 Euro model? The 280 SE, that's the car we're gonna go and try to start today again and possibly revive. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, the owner Spencer is actually getting some uh, paperwork done for that car and he's he's trying to get a key uh, Cut for it as well And he told me that he's gonna buy the fuel pump and fuel filter and you know some other stuff like fresh fuel and things like that So it's pretty exciting can't wait to get there and you know just have fun. So stay tuned Connecting the two oh, there, yeah. so yeah, 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 I see. What that's a high try. pressure line. That sucks. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to see. We might be able to figure something out, but yeah, you know, with these crimp things. Sucks. Yeah, I know that. At least you were able to get a pump, though. Yeah. But as far as the filter, it's just uh, better to clean it out and clean then... this guy out. Well, that's accumulator, but oh, this that right here is the, is the fuel filter, filter right okay. there. Yep, mm -hmm. that's the guy. There you go, now we can just put a regular hose on this thing. This just like go. that. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't leak. I mean, there is some pressure, but it's only like 50 PSI or 40. Yeah. It shouldn't be that bad. It should hold up as a temporary fix. Even if it leaks a little right now, it, yeah. you can still see if it starts and runs on the tank. Yeah, yeah. I know last time we were having the problem with the key. Yeah, the with addition. the key, right. So. I'll figure that out. We just cleaned up this uh, engine bay a little bit, so it looks a lot better now. Um, and I did the same thing to this side. It looks a lot better now. It used to be really dusty. That's the new pump, but it's a little different than that one. So we'll have to figure something out. We're gonna try and see if this one is working still. We're gonna apply power to it. If it does, then we're probably gonna install this one for right now. I got that. Just for a few seconds. Nope, nothing. Nope. Seems like it's probably bad. It's shorted inside. I would assume so after sitting all that time too. Yep.
so we'll have to loosen that line that's above the axle and do the same thing to that one basically this remove one that fitting yep yeah all right so i started cleaning this side this car is coming along the door panel is all cleaned up i just have to finish cleaning all this right here uh, but clean the door jams it's looking really nice at the end we should put some leather conditioner on this thing to make it clean or to make it protect it so this thing also looks a lot a lot better than it used to okay also clean the door jams so it looks really nice and like i said we have to put some leather conditioner on this thing So I removed this dash pad. We already talked uh, with the Spencer about it and there it is. It's pretty old and it's been on the car for a long time. So he's probably gonna get a different dash pad and we can clean this garbage from the, under this uh, dash pad. There was, there was a lot of dust in there. So she's coming along and getting everything cleaned up here. The cluster is getting cleaned up and it's gonna look really nice very soon. So what we did is as a temporary repair, we're gonna try to get this car running uh, on its own without spraying the starting fluid in there. So I have a pump, filter right there. We'll just have to bypass the accumulator for right now because uh, one of the lines was missing initially to this car. So we're just gonna bypass it for right now and we're trying to figure out how to mount this thing right now because two mounts are broken. So those two mounts right there are broken. So. All right, guys, so as of right now, we don't have those two mounts, so we're just gonna set the whole assembly on a block of wood and we'll try to start it uh, in a little bit. He's about to connect all the lines here and then we'll uh, pour the fresh fuel into the tank and in the future, he will take the fuel tank out to clean it actually because we didn't get a chance to do that just yet. So it's all coming along and the inside of the car uh, is I would say 80% cleaned up. Uh, I cleaned the door panels and front seats right here and center console just didn't get to the carpets uh, which we will soon maybe today or Spencer will do it by himself sometime but other than that uh, the car is coming back to life which is amazing. All right guys so there she is the battery is still charging and we're about to get ready and start this car soon after Spencer is done uh, putting the fuel pump and filter back in there and connecting all the lines. And other than that, I cleaned this engine bay a little bit. So it looks a lot nicer right now. Um, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, hopefully we'll see this car running. Unfortunately, we can't test drive it as of right now. The tires are shot on it and uh, we don't have the key as of just yet. Uh, Spencer will get a new key cut for it because he got this car without the key. So other than that, Everything uh, is looking nicer and nicer on this car. Uh, I just finished cleaning the interior for him. Um, the door panels, seats, right, these rocker panels right here and uh, all the other stuff. Center console is looking really nice right now. So that's pretty amazing. It gives us a lot more motivation to keep going. All right. And then uh, later on, we'll just have to get some uh, leather conditioner, condition this thing um, as soon as possible. All right. And also I have to, get some ATF and spray down the uh, down these locks because they're really stiff and the mirror is also stiff it's not going anywhere so it still needs a lot of love don't forget to drink a lot of water during the weather like this because it's super hot 
and look at me I'm wearing jeans I really didn't think about today's day or weather I should have checked the weather today but yeah anyways I'm about to show you the Spencer's project you know uh, right now right here he's working he's putting a M617 turbo on this Toyota pickup I think it's a Toyota but yeah that's his project right there uh, this 123 uh, he took it all apart but he's planning to put a gas engine in that thing and right there is his 240d right there that he's uh, also restoring and today's main thing is to try to start that w116 280 sc so i'm pretty excited uh, we just don't have the key but hopefully we can get that thing going cheers forgot to say cheers At least it's not locked. I got it unlocked with a screwdriver oh, you did? when oh I first my got it. Gosh. I was like, crap. <laughs> So now we have everything connected, fuel pump, we put fresh gas in the fuel tank. Right now we have to figure out, it's so hard to find a wiring schematics for this car. And we have to figure out how, uh, how the fuel pump is controlled and from where. There's probably a relay and we have, to, we have to find out how the spark is being controlled, how the ignition coil is being controlled. Otherwise, I mean, we, you won't be able to, you know, really start it. I mean, you might be able to just start it and just, you know, let it run. Uh, but it won't keep running. It won't stay running. It will. It will just stall out, which sucks. And uh, we don't have the key for it. So it's either we have to figure out the wiring, and we have to jump the wires to make the things work, or we have to dig into the ignition lock assembly. So in the fuse box, there was this relay, a really old relay, corroded. And I'm pretty sure this is the the fuel pump control right here. So we're gonna. Uh, try to test the resistance on one of the wires make sure that that's the actual wire that goes to the fuel pump uh, and then that way we can safely jump it uh, because we don't want to jump the wrong wires I'm gonna try to see which wire goes to the fuel pump feed so using the multimeter I'm about to find out the old school way all right so this is connected to the positive cable positive wire goes to the battery and we have this thing uh, in ohms reading and I'm gonna touch one of those terminals and you see that it's changing I'll actually do the continuity right here so that's the wire that goes to the pump so we're gonna provide we're gonna jump power right there the other wires are not beeping so that's not it so this is the only wire okay so now we know how the pump is working so we can jump the power to that thing and uh, you can go ahead and reconnect that positive wire real quick so we're gonna literally jump the power to that terminal middle terminal right there so took the cluster out and uh, actually found out that uh, this was busted. It was actually loosely on the back of the ignition lock assembly. And this is the uh, the ignition switch and it's not working. So it will need to be replaced, but we got lucky. We were able to undo this connector. So right now I'm checking for power on all these pins. And that way I can actually like just jump it to the starter or whatever else. And I have the multimeter helping me out. Um, and what's really cool about this thing is it actually has the well pressure line right there and uh, I just undid it right now uh, so that's why there's some oil but um, we should be able to fire this thing up and we tried to actually crank it and jump the fuel pump and there was 
there was actually some fuel spraying out of the pump. So Spencer is trying to uh, add some Teflon tape to that nut right there, the fitting, so and tighten it more. So hopefully that does something. Okay, so we installed a, a different good fuel pump relay, but we still have issues with the fuel pump. Like it's working, but then like it feels like something is restricted. So the pump is like, like having a you know hard time pumping the fuel in the back. So we still have to figure that out. But as of right now, we're gonna show you how this thing uh, starts up with the starting fluid. So we have spark on it already. And uh, go ahead, connect that battery really quick. Cable, yeah. Okay. So, and I have the ignition switch right here. As you can see, it's all mm, connected, the wires, okay. Hang on a second, let me uh, install this uh, jumper again. I'm gonna install that on terminal 50. And then it goes back to 30. Let's try it. All right, you ready? See that? She was running, but we have to figure out something with the fuel pump. But it seems like the fuel pump is not leaking anymore, so. Well, like we stopped the leak. But we need to figure out, maybe there's like a restricted flow. You said that you were uh, cleaning the pipes and everything, or what? That the lines shouldn't be clogged? ones that I installed the rubber gotcha. lines. No, those, yeah, like but... Anything past that going up the car? So what we need to do now is we need to loosen the line on this guy. This feed line from the tank, we have to loosen that up. And see, we have fuel pressure right here. Okay, so it's uh, one of these lines, yep. Let's see if it has anything in there. Nothing, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of crap in this distributor right there, too. Okay, let's, uh, I'm gonna activate this thing. Yeah, you see? I activated the pump, nothing. That, like, the pump is trying to work, but I feel like it's being restricted or something. So we have no fuel coming out of these lines. Not the feed line, not the return line, and also there's a lot of garbage inside of this distributor. Like a lot of garbage. Probably from sitting, all the buildup, so this thing will need to be either replaced or rebuilt, the distributor itself. But we need to figure out how to get fuel pressure up to this uh, distributor from the pump. So he's gonna clean these filters. Let's look how bad they are. And they're not, eh, there's no, nothing in there. There should be like a filter element in there. Somebody probably just took it out. This one's nearly almost blocked. Is it? Oh yeah, what is that? Yeah, that's the filter in there. Maybe there's no filter on this side, but a filter on yeah. the inlet. Mm-hmm. I'll go spray them out. There's a lot of garbage in there. Okay, so we just disconnected the fitting from the fuel filter right there. Activated the pump and the pump is doing the same thing. It comes on for like three seconds and then it has like a, like it's not working anymore because it's like, feel, it's like a restricted passage. So uh, I'm more than sure that this filter is probably just clogged and the pump cannot uh, do its job and push the fuel through. So we're probably gonna have to remove that rubber clamp from the filter and we try this test again see if the pump is working and we're gonna retry this test again after he pulls that so it's gonna be literally uh, just a fuel pump and nothing else the filter is gonna be out of the way all right so I'm gonna take this line this hose off and we'll see if there's fuel pressure in there there's probably is so this fuel filter is clogged. It's not letting fuel through. It's crazy.
We got the line off. Yep. Now we're gonna do the same test. Activate the pump. You ready? Yeah, go for it. All right, so the fuel pump right now is disconnected from the fuel filter and it's just a straight fuel pump. Yeah. It's working, huh? Yeah, it's right a lot. All right, so we have a problem now. So yeah, we know what was causing that fuel filter. Okay. So we could either just run straight like that through the whole thing or, you know, yeah, because uh, the filter is uh, no good. So I'm just putting a temporary filter right here and we're going to run it straight to the main feed line, bypassing the fuel filter. Who else will put love to these cars if not us? It's only us that truly appreciate these cars. Yeah. All right, so we have this thing hooked up right there. We have a small filter. We're gonna retry this pump, make sure the pump is working. And then we need to see if the pressure is gonna come out of those lines. So I'm gonna connect the um, battery right now. Uh, that's fine. She'll be fine. We just need to make sure that the, some of the fuel is going to come out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So let's just ru run a little. See how the, there's still some old fuel in there. You know what I mean? Okay. So let's try to... Yeah, there's still a lot of old fuel. So maybe just put a drip pan underneath really quick. And uh, we need to get all this dirty fuel out of there before we put it to the through the fuel distributor. How's it looking? Better. It looks good now, huh? Yeah. All right, cool. Connect these two lines and let's try to start this baby up. All right, let's see, make sure no fuel leaks. Fill up this distributor a bit. Okay, how's that one? We're leaking back here. Leaking? How much? Pretty good amount. Oh wow, where's it leaking from? It's leaking out the back of that fitting up top. Oh really? So that maybe we have to connect it a little better, huh? Yeah, it might not be tightened. Oh yeah, I see, I see. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, go for it if you're ready. Stop. All right, try it now. Try again. Stop. Stop. I mean, the pump is working. Pump is working. We heard that. Uh, let's see. Battery sounds a little weak. Yeah. I wonder if we spray starting fluid some more. Mm. It just doesn't stay running. Anyway, so we were not able to, you know start this thing and to keep it running mainly because of the, the you know we didn't we only had the fuel pump connected and there was no fuel filter no fuel accumulator so there was a lot of pressure going straight to that uh, 
um, distributor and it was literally like uh, causing one of our hoses to just blow off every time so uh, we made a list of what this car needs and all the fuel lines and fuel filter and things like that uh, the owner will also get the ignition switch and the key cut for it so he will probably send me some update videos uh, after this car is running and good to go so as of right now it's still gonna be waiting but we did a lot of work on the inside <clears throat> uh, looped up some of the uh, door hinges and things like that and cleaned the seats and center console and things like that so uh, yeah it's coming along door panels and later on you will put some uh, leather conditioner on this thing but look how nicely this opens and closes pretty cool huh Amazing car. Amazing. Woohoo! Gotta love and appreciate that sound. Mm -hmm. You can see it pulled. Oh, yeah. Right That's really interesting. I see that. So I know it's not the valve cover gasket. Yeah, it's something else for sure. Yeah. Did you do anything to the turbo or like did you like take it apart or not? I, had, not I didn't really. do anything to the turbo, but I replaced the gasket yeah. here. So I had all Just that gasket. Okay. And... Gotcha. <laughs>